welcome weekly DTM review with Justin and Corey and what a week it was so diving right in we had a beautiful TP5 excellent example of why OCO orders are super powerful uh, some of these can be a little frustrating if it's a market order and you're using a stop limit. So um, that's also why we use the stop loss strategy. This came up, I believe, all the way to TP5 anyways. But uh, we also had another TP4. Another TP4. So beautiful. Um, love seeing those come through. I actually just want to come back to this. Uh, we had a question about... Uh, why we always take profit, TP1, TP2, TP3. And it's not because we're necessarily going to sit out. We take our profit all in the way up from these spikes because we're going to buy on the retracement, right? So that's perfect example, you know, entering even TP1 coming back down to the buy line. You know, this one wasn't super high, 3.34%. You get some of these TP1s, 10%, right? So um never be shy of taking profits i just want to bring one of those other ones back up here justin so it doesn't always happen but typically you know a lot of these when they come spiking through um tp4 you know it might it hit tp3 depending on how it's spaced tp3 come back to tp1 or tp4 come back to tp2 um, and then keep moving up to these higher levels so you can actually farm on the way up. You don't always have to sell 100% out. You know, might take 70% off the table, TP1, TP2, ride the rest with a stop loss or whatever, right? So you got to have your own strategy. You know, we've got scalp traders in here that are just riding it, cashing out. Uh, we've got midterm traders that are just riding, you know, some of the bigger moves. And then, you know, guys like me that are in between, Sometimes I'm glued to the chart. Sometimes I'm just, you know, out at the beach or whatever. So depending on the strategy, you can make a lot more profits just than the TP1, TP2, TP3, et cetera. So I uh, just wanted to touch on that quick. Uh, as far as actual totals, I believe we hit 87% uh, in three days on the weekend, over seven TPs, five, four different trade setups. So one heck of a way to end the week yeah it was huge it was uh and that's that's the power of dtm and, and some of the education that we bring with that set and forget strategy um one of my favorite strategies as well as we're moving up is again i don't sell 100 percent. i take 25 percent at each take profit level up to tp3 and then i'll ride the other 25 percent with a stop loss because we have seen coins you know breach our highest TP, TP5, and then do another 50%. So if you're if you're just following the data in the in the charts all the time, you'll you'll do well. You'll take profits, but there's more to be had if you adjust your strategy. And then if it does retrace on TP3, all the profits that I took, you know, I'm going to dump back in when when that retraces, and I'm going to do the same thing: sell 75% on the way up and ride the rest with a stop loss. It's been extremely powerful for me over the last little bit and yeah without day trades you know long term's been been okay we've got some decent positions in uh marius's long-term trade reports has been a huge help you know giving us that guide but dtm is that consistent profit and revenue stream that that i rely on it's tough when bitcoin is going sideways for months you know we've never seen markets move this slowly but uh, getting right into some of these. So TP3 on Ray. Ray is one that you could put up to $200,000, $250,000 on and not move the price. So seeing, you know, some of the higher TPs on that one was really nice to see. DYDX crushed it last week, uh, 18 and a half or 18% basically at TP4. And LTO is the one that I was talking about, you know, TP1, 10.3%. So I uh, got an early entry on that one. It was a closer to 15%, came back all the way to entry um, or lower. It's just above the stop loss right now. So some of those are, yeah, that's exactly why we take profits off the table and we can get back into them or whatever. So um, some awesome awesome moves utk absolutely killed it dydx hit that 24.89 percent 
you know, really consistent to see some of these mid caps hit 25% spikes. So always want to take profit off the table. Um, and then that's one that we're going to be tracking quite well. So you'll see more of it. Ray, 13%. Uh, Darrow uh, TP2 for 8.39%, 11.83%, 16.08%. That thing really just took off and uh, never really came back down. So um, TP1 for cake as well, which is another mid cap you can put a lot of cash on too. So, you know, some of those smaller uh, percentages might not seem too appealing for some with smaller portfolios, but man, if you're making, you know, 5, 8, 10, 15% on 200K in a month, that's some good cash, right? So TP2 for cake, 9%. And then, uh, yeah, DYDX hit that TP5. TP5, 4 and 5 for UTK. So another 24.52%. And then, uh, yeah, getting into the market this week, it's been a little bit slower. So um, after a hot weekend, that's pretty typical, right? Things need a bit of time to cool off. And then we're going to be getting back into the action you know, either this weekend or getting into Monday, Tuesday again. So um, regardless what happens in the, you know, traditional markets or with the, uh, you know, um, preliminaries or what's the, the elections, midterms coming up. Midterm, yeah. And uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. That was the other question that really came up was, you know, what what's the play? It's we do our technical analysis. We don't care about any of the noise, right? We pay attention to this stuff. But it's not impacting our technical analysis. We play the charts, we do our trades, and you know, eighty-seven percent in a weekend is a lot of opportunity to make some, you know, pay the rent, whatever, and uh, put some food on the table, right? So, um, as things go sideways, some of these altcoins are still going to pop off. We're seeing, you know, fifty, hundred percent on some of these coins, and some crazy volatility still. So. Uh, there's opportunity to be had where that's absolutely where we got to take our profits off the table and set those stop losses. Of course, always, always stop losses, right? So <laughs> um, nothing too, too crazy other than that. Um, we did have our DeFi pick of the week that I did just want to touch on. So this is one that we covered a few weeks back. Um just a quick update on it. So it did move, uh, it was up about 35, 40% since we discussed it, but making, uh, or hitting a lot of resistance here. So that was an EMA that I wanted to uh, discuss about it. So, um, or that I was discussing at one point in time, but just facing a lot of resistance there. So nothing to be too concerned about. This is still an early project, but some of these farm or some of these swings can be farmed nicely. So I'm looking for a nice pullback, potentially down. Uh, B BTC drops, you know, it could come down back and fill this uh, little wick here. So we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, some of these projects, crazy profitability, some really nice runs, uh, amazing weekend and more to come. So uh, we are in pre-sale, finishing up pre-sale on December 1st for our DeFi bundle. So if you haven't taken a look yet, make sure to do that. Uh, getting into 10x, 100x, 1000x gems. Um, we've got a new partner. We've got our last or our first initial uh, live call last week or this week. So that was super cool and uh, some really good energy coming through. So lots more projects, you know, if you're interested in staking and pre-launches in IDOs, you know, finding those hidden little gems that have uh, some crazy upside potential. You know, we're talking 10, like the one I've seen uh, even in labs uh, in particular is potential 8,000%. So 80X, you know, $1,000 turn into 80 grand, potentially just to hit all time high. Right. So lots of potential growth on these. And, uh, you know, we want to do it smart. Right. So we don't want to be throwing money away. This is not gambling. This is being very strategic and uh, a different type of investing. But there's something for everybody, of course, uh, not just the gems, but, you know, staking, getting into diversifying your portfolio, really reducing risk and managing a balanced portfolio for short, mid and long term is uh where things get pretty exciting. So lots more to come. Uh, any final words, Justin? No, we, we talk stop loss all the time. Um, so I really wanted to bring this back up just to, just to hit it home again. 
Uh, very, very important piece to day trade, any type of trading, really. You know, unless you're doing that long term hold for, and you've set that intent for years and years and years, you you definitely want to protect capital. Capital is king. So we developed this this little graph here that really kind of explains it really well. You know, so you take a ten percent loss, it's going to take an eleven percent gain just to break even. Thirty percent loss, forty three percent gain, eighty percent, four hundred, ninety percent, nine hundred percent gain. It's very important to protect capital. The markets can do anything. Um, that's why we don't really watch these world events. And that really doesn't dictate what we do with our trading because we have stop losses in place. We know that our capital is going to be protected regardless. And we also have our capital in the market in case that world event sets off, you know, massive influx of of income of of capital into the market so yeah. you but time in the market is better than no time in the market and stop loss strategy just gives you that that safety net so very important i just want to touch base on that and just really drill that home yeah absolutely that's beautiful so a uh, short one this week lots more to come make sure that you are on our ama uh tomorrow morning live training we do a q a and a uh, little special bonus in there as well. So lots more to come. Um, really amazing week. So things are really waking up here. You know, if we're making profits in the bear market, then imagine what we can do in the bull market, right? So uh, things looking really good. Have a great weekend. Hope to see you tomorrow morning. And if not, the recording will be available. But uh, you're missing out on some of the bonus features and uh, some of the cool stuff that's only showed live. So make sure to hop on. We'll see you there. Trade safe.